Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie. I make plus size fashion, lifestyle, beauty content, all of that good stuff for my fat friends in the world. Um, I was saying this on Instagram. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, you should because it's got so much more than this YouTube channel has as of now. Um, I was saying this on my stories, but I feel like there's a new member of the Illuminati and I think that she's a fat woman because so many awesome things are happening in the world of fat babes, like Shrill on Hulu, Lizzo is in Playboy magazine. Um, this morning, uh, Gabby, uh, Greg, and Nicolette Mason of Prem were on the Today Show. Like, what is happening? Oh, and the Anthropology Plus Size line launch. I talked about that in another video, but like, What's happening? It's so good. There's so many amazing things happening. I feel like it's just, I don't know. I feel so confident being myself and I feel like with all this media attention to plus size bodies, um, I just feel so confident in my own skin and that isn't just the confidence that I've cultivated for myself. It's also that like there's this beautiful thriving renaissance happening and like it's bomb AF. So without further ado, I'm just gonna bring you guys a little bit of a mod cloth haul. Uh, again, if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram because I did a little poll as to like what type of video you guys wanted to see more and everyone like resoundingly was super into a mod cloth haul and that's what I'm going to be doing for you today. So the majority of these pieces I've already tried on and actually I've worn a few of them so I feel like I have some decent input as to what I like and as to what I absolutely hated because there is something in this pile that I, <laughs> oh man, it really challenged my patience, you could say. <laughs> so I did receive these items from ModCloth. Uh, I'm part of the ModCloth squad. It's actually a group of influencers that promote uh, different ModCloth styles each month. We get a, um, like, an allowance of sorts to spend on items from their uh, line sheet of new items that are out so we're able to promote and showcase new items as they come out during the year. If you guys want to know more about like how the blogging influencer world works, I would love to do a video on that just because I feel like it's such a great space for plus women to be in right now because we are really changing the tide. So many women that are like important figures in the plus size world started out as bloggers and they've become business women and are just killing the game. So if you have any questions about that, please ask me. I'm always so thrilled to give you a leg up in this world. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's start hauling these items. These were kind of the instrumental um, item in this entire haul. This is a pair of shorter alls and um, God, I'm hyping my Instagram so much, but um, pretty frequently I do styling videos where I take one item and style it in multiple ways, and um, I, lately I've been focusing on items that kind of scare me and intimidate me as a woman in general. Last time I filmed a video, it was me trying on a bodysuit and wearing it five different ways. This time I'm trying on shorter alls and wearing it five different ways and I decided to build all of the outfits with mod cloth items so people would have an easier time shopping so you get to see all these items and then if you kind of want to see how I styled them please go check it out on my Instagram god have you guys started a drinking game yet for how many times I can say go to my Instagram I assume you're already drunk by now if you have so these are mod cloth brand Cute little hang tags with pink ribbons. I think this is a new feature. And they have a high waist and there's belt loops on here. Let's see if you can get a better angle. Yeah. There are belt loops on it. I think that's really helpful in giving some versatility to what you can do with this. The fit is a nice, generous stretch. I got a size, I believe it is a 3X. Yes, I got a 3X. And they're pretty, Pretty standard overalls, honestly. They're a really good length. They have a nice cuffed hem right here. 
and I really like where they hit on the leg. It's kind of a mid-thigh fit. I do like showing off my legs, but I feel like for those of you who don't, they're a length that isn't too intimidating, which is great. Um, just the high waist fit of these really, really make the grade for me because I think if they were a little bit lower waisted, it wouldn't look as um, like figure enhancing. I love that it kind of gives a slight hourglass fit just because you have that defined waist. These are wonderful. I will be wearing them all summer, I feel like, and I think that they were a great foundation piece to work on for this upcoming video just because I really do anticipate styling them in so many different ways and oh, these can last throughout the seasons. Like, can you imagine them in fall with some tights? Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Overalls, great. I loved them. I love everything about them. Super wonderful, super durable. I have worn them, I think, maybe twice this week already, and I haven't noticed any, like, stretch blowout. <laughs> uh, they're great, A+. Plus. I highly suggest them. So the next item I got is the Charter School Sweater. And this one came in a really pretty rainbow stripe. I'm all about rainbow right now on a beautiful dark green forest background. It is a size 3X. I read that you might want to size up. I am smaller on top than I am on the bottom, but lately I've been wearing three, uh, 3X size tops in general because I like a little bit more of a generous um, relaxed fit and this does the job. I'm like a dress size 22, 24 on bottom, usually 22 on top. This one, 3X, really fun. There's some good details on this. The shoulders have these fabulous little buttons that I didn't actually notice until today even though I've been wearing it all week. And it just has a nice, just light feel to it. This is a great spring piece, especially if it's still a little bit chilly where you live. Toss a little jacket on this, you're good to go. And yes, I love it underneath my overalls. This is a win for me as well. Ooh, I already got some lipstick on this one. Um, this is an eyelet tank top with a scalloped bottom and a nice little Oxford collar. Back has a little button hook. God, I got my lipstick all over this collar. Let's see if you can, nice, not too hard to manage there. And you will want to wear some kind of camisole underneath this, unless you're daring, um, because it's pretty sheer. And then also you have all the eyelets all over, which are beautiful and very well made, I may add. I got a 3X in this one, but I will say that I had some troubles getting this over my hips and um, it doesn't really bother me because I don't like to wear my short, my shirts untucked. Um, I plan, I got this to wear with the overalls again, but I also will like it with high-waisted pants or a skirt. I'm not gonna wear it untucked, so I will be keeping this even though it doesn't technically skim over my hips. I don't care. If you want um, it to go over your hips, size up, but I'm fine with that. That scalloping is pretty darn cute, and I am a sucker for some scallops. Again, just wearing it the overalls, I don't care. And to go with that, I got a nice, plain, mustardy cardigan. I've definitely purchased these cardigans a few times from Mod Cloth. This is definitely one of those staple pieces. They always will have this in stock. It's just a great classic fit. I got a... Ooh, I got 4X in this one. Um, I think that's because I wanted it to feel a little bit longer, which it does feel a little bit longer on me, and I like that relaxed. I said that a lot, but I do. Uh, uh. Super cute. I love this blouse. This blouse has a lot more detail going on than you originally think. It's got like, hold on, there we go. Kind of a chevron-y pattern, and then definitely the floral, and there's some really interesting texture to it because the chevron is actually stitched in, so there's threads all throughout it. It just is really nice, touchable, and again, sheer, but 
I wore this without a bra <laughs> and the overalls and like I don't think anybody noticed like you couldn't see my titties so good I wore this with the collar all the way buttoned up underneath my overalls and I just felt so like artsy Brooklyn cool girl love it love a long sleeve buttoned up blouse with some overalls you will too if you know anything about me, you know that I love a Peter Pan collar. And I don't think this is a technical Peter Pan collar, but it gets, you know, that job done of it being kind of like a um, childlike, innocent, classic, kind of retro vibe. This light blouse is wonderful. Again, all these pieces I got just for wearing underneath these overalls, just so I could really showcase the versatility of the overalls all for little different playful occasions. And again, there is some beautiful texture all over this shirt. Let's see here. They're like little tiny stitched polka dots on that. You don't really see it on the website, but it is gorgeous. The sleeve is a nice cap sleeve and it just skims over the arm really nicely. Nice, loose fit. I really, really appreciated how this all worked out. Um, again, I got a size 3X. It has a little button closure on the collar, but you can stick your big head through this and just pull it on and off. It's a really nice, easy top, and it's gonna go with so, so much. Sorry, I keep like popping out of frame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the sad part of this haul because I was so excited to see this gorgeous orange jumpsuit, but I think that it's trash. <laughs> That's awful, but like there's just, it's not an accommodating fit for plus size people. Let me explain why. So, looks like a pretty standard jumpsuit. It's a beautiful, just like zippy tangerine color, and I, I love this saturation on the orange here. It's gorgeous. I think it's like a linen fabric. Oh, it's just beautiful, but and here is the flaw. It is trash to get into. Gotta find my chair. Um, like, there are these buttons on the side. Cute, cute if they were merely a design feature. But this is how you are meant to get into this jumpsuit. That also has no stretch. I'm guessing that you unbutton the buttons and go in through the top. But girl, my belly does not fit through the same hole that my neck can fit through. Okay, I'm like an iceberg. I'm little on the top, but there's a lot more down here than you're ever expecting. So like, I have no idea how I'm meant to get into this. I unbuttoned the side and kind of climbed into it and then pulled the straps over me. It was ridiculous <laughs> and I had to have my boyfriend help. And also, if this is the way that we are meant to get in and out of this, that means we're gonna be using the buttons a lot. I would really like it if the buttons weren't so dang and loose on it. Those are gonna pop off in a second. Comes with a tie, but like, this is not a friend to my plus size babes. It is not at all. This, I think a straight size woman, provided she's not very curvy, could have an easy time with this but I really would have appreciated a couple of things here. It would have been super easy to put buttons at the top so you could undo the straps and then get into it that way. That way the buttons on the side make a lot more sense. It's just like, you know, like a book that you open and climb into. Or, God forbid, a zipper in the back. What? I just, I don't know, I think this is such a nice attempt and I was so sad that it didn't work and it just, ultimately kind of flawed design and not really looking out for a plus size body, so ugh, do better. I haven't really had a problem like this from Mod Cloth in a long time. I usually am super successful, but like, oh, it makes me so sad. I was so excited to wear this. I may still like wear it once, but I feel like going to the bathroom is gonna be the hardest pain in the ass in the world. And jumpsuits are already like asking so much of you. They are asking you to go pee with your titties out. So it may at least be like, like they should be easy to get in and out of. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so um, 
got a lot of accessories this time around. And that is because, again, I'm trying to outfit one singular item multiple ways. And you gotta always zhuzh some stuff up with some accessories. I got some trash and peeling apart. So, these cute little glasses are an easy win. Ooh, they're kinda green when you put them on. Nice tortoiseshell glasses. Uh, heart shaped, kind of a little heart cat eye. You guys know this style. It's been around for a minute. Like, I think they are inspired by um, some Dior glasses. I like these. They're quirky and eccentric, but still kind of classic with the tortoise shell and the coloring of the lenses. So, real good. I recommend. And I got a little scarf. Um, I usually wear bandana style scarves or handkerchief style scarves and fold them up to put in my hair or around my neck. But I liked how this one was just straight to business. Cute polka dot motif. I think it came in one other um, color style. Hello, pink lady moment. It's me. Um, a plus. It's nice. It's thick. Um, I think you could have this forever. I have a box full of scarves that I just use them and use them and use them and use them. I've got so much makeup on my glasses. Can you guys see? It's like covered in blush at the bottom. Last but not least, I got a bunch, well, I got three bags that I think are darling and honestly are bigger bang for your buck. So this one I've been getting so many compliments on. I've already posted this to the IG. Did you take a shot? I mentioned Instagram. Um, it is bumblebees and they are embroidered on and it has a cute little clasp. I don't know what these are called, but I call them a princess clasp. And it has a nice little snap, a great chain length strap here. So gorgeous. And they give you a little alternative strap. Oops, got movie tickets in here. A little tiny one that you can kind of turn it into a small clutch. Love this one. Be prepared to be stopped in the street. I was super cute. everywhere right now. This one is so cute. I love the little pom-poms attached here. Be careful, I've had bags like this and I've had pom-poms and they've gotten dirty and like there's no putting this in the washing machine. So just be careful. It has a cute little entrance. Oh, I haven't even unpacked this yet. We're gonna experience this bag together. Oh, and it's their in-house brand. That's exciting. Here's that. Just real easy, a little basket. Great for spring and summer. I guess this could be removed. I wouldn't. I think that it would be a pain in the ass to try and get it back on. The straps are a faux leather. It is a great crossbody option and it is adjustable. So you can make that a little bit longer to accommodate your girth. Accommodate your girth. This one was a surprise. It, uh, I really liked it on the website, but I didn't realize how luxe it would be in person. It is so beautiful. There's a little compartment right here. It's got two pockets on either side as well. And the lining is just so pretty with its little swan. Really nice accordion at the bottom. Buckle it back up. It has almost a hand-painted quality to it. Um, my boyfriend thought this looked like a Gucci bag and I don't disagree. Again, it's a shoulder bag. Not gonna get too much length out of this. I don't know if I'd do this crossbody. Actually, I might, because I'm that girl that's like wearing everything like it's a belt bag and I don't really care. But I think that it is meant to be worn as a shoulder bag and for that, it works great. 
On the side, there's a cute little detail. Just a nice little leather keychain detail. Love it. This is so cute and quirky. Real fun, pure mod cloth. And I love how much space it has. So, recommended. I think this might be my favorite bag of the set just because it feels so luxe for the price you're paying. It definitely feels like more of a higher end bag for sure. So that was my quick and dirty mod cloth haul. I've got a lot more videos coming for you. I'm just so excited to be doing this and doing this pretty frequently. I cannot wait to make more content for you. We're gonna have fun. Um, I'm just gonna play it real casual and loose. And yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram, duh doy. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. We're gonna keep partying. Keep partying, girlfriend. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye.